Hey, come on in, Sagittarius. Divine Feminines. Let's get into it. So we have this King of Swords and this King of Cups. I feel like here we are. Now what? Here we are. Now what, Divine Feminine? Well, let me tell you. This is it right here. Let's get into it. I hope you guys are having a good day. Be sure to uh, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're returning back, welcome in. Okay. Um, Divine Feminine. There's a deep knowing here. Okay. There's a deep knowing about something. You already know how something's supposed to go, how something's supposed to be. You already know what something is, what it's not. You already know. Whatever it is, this is just going to be your confidence. Information, okay, is what I'm being told. All beings of the greatest, highest white light, most high, holy angels, holy ancestors, show me clearly, spirit, for my Sagittarius. Okay, look at that, Sag, King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. What? Don't you know no good? Don't you know no good? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Take it as it resonates, okay? Going forward, um, time to go because you're headed to a blessed time. Page of Cups. Okay, there's a blessed time coming in for you, Divine Feminine, all right, Sagittarius or viewer connecting, resonating with this energy. Okay, here you are, Nine of Pentacles, all by yourself, okay? Um, you've been planting your seeds. You're picking those seeds. You are picking the fruit is what you're picking. You're picking the fruit, okay? You're picking the carrots. you got the tomatoes right there, okay? All your greenery back there, and there's more where that came from. There is a blue jay energy, which blue jays represent partnership. There is a blue bird on her head, okay? So there's an energy of you seeing or knowing this, the knowing. You know that this partnership is coming in ten of this you know it's coming in that's what you know that's what the deep knowing is you know that it's time to go to a blessed time you're moving to a blessed time there is three points of contact for you divine feminine your three points of focus or contact are serendipity spirituality and love okay the divine masculine's three point of contact were healing joy and prosperity so you both are looking towards good things okay desiring good things um and it looks like on the way up for you first and foremost is this new uh a happy happy new life energy a happy happy new life okay divine feminine that's where we're going to begin at this happy happy new life this serendipitous moment your focus what you're nurturing, what you're investing in, okay? You are paying more attention to what that is, what that looks like, what you get back off of that. See, in the past, you may have invested one, two, three, four, five, five of swords. I feel a five of swords energy. You invested and you got five of swords in the return. You got two of swords. You got blocked out. I'm getting an energy where you invested more than you received in the return, okay? So you could have experienced some form of rejection or loss okay um that made you unhappy it made you reevaluate circumstances your life it made you reevaluate a contract possibly that you were in with a virgo okay or someone with virgo in their chart um divine feminine you could have the virgo in your chart you went within and you're like let me see how to get to this ten of pentacles okay because that was the virgo hermit energy matched up with the ten of pentacles and you're sitting on the seven of pentacles here divine feminine so the seven of pentacles you're like eh, it's all right i mean yeah it's something you know there's growth things are blooming whatever is blooming is whatever you're putting your time and attention into there's something that has you dissatisfied four swords there was some form of pain three of swords that you experienced in between before you got to this healing point before you decided to take things slow before you decided to pull your energy back and relax a bit before you stop nurturing things that weren't giving into you or nurturing you in return okay so you learned a lesson okay your cup got spilled basically Sagittarius you were giving into something and when it came time for you to you need your your thirst quenched there was no one around okay so serendipity your new life includes you maintaining your cup of happiness on full first making sure your offers 
are grounded. Making sure, no, 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 that wasn't the problem because see, there was growth. You were growing someone else, okay? But you were not being given to. So now in this, in this, in this healing energy, in this time of you pulling your energy back, in this time of self-reflecting, you've learned and realized what you're needing <clears throat> in order for you to maintain your happiness. And first and foremost, that looks like and includes receptivity, reciprocity, equal give and take. Yeah, eight swords here, okay? Um, that involves healing because there's eight swords and you're at the four of swords. So it involves you healing. It involves you giving to yourself instead. Filling your own cup instead. And that's what you did, Sagittarius. You pulled your energy back, or that's what you needed to do, Divine Feminine. But there's a deep knowing that that's what is exactly is what was required for you to attain and reach your happiness. So you're doing what you're supposed to do. I don't see a problem here, Sagittarius. The problem is over. Ten Wands. This was the recipe. It was a recipe for disaster initially. Because you were you were you were you were emptying your own cups. It's like you was you was like, mm, I'm thirsty. Let me fill up my cup. You filled your cup up with these hibiscus leaves, and then it was like you was like, here, you want some? You want some? You want some? You could have gave your hibiscus leaves away to four different people, and you pulled your energy back from all four of those individuals, and you decided these could have been family, friends. Co-workers, these could have been adventures, jobs, endeavors, creations. These could have been people, places, and things that you pulled your energy back from and you started giving to your own happiness here, Sagittarius. That's 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 alchemy. That's your energy right there. That is transmuting the energy. So basically, you transmuted the energy. So your next point of focus is your spirituality, standing in your own power, standing in your own divinity, shining your light. On your own endeavors okay with the moon card your secret desires you're standing up against your fears you're standing in your power here and you're fighting the demons on astral the demons being those who come into your life to empty your cup kill steal and destroy okay and so here's kill steal and destroy all right and his evil twin. <laughs> okay. So you've learned what those four swords are. You're like, oh, I recognize that. That's that's kill, steal, and destroy. And the evil twin right there. Okay. That's the that's the quadruplets. I don't want no parts with the quadruplets. Not the cups in the reverse. That ain't gonna fill my cups up. So you pulled back. Okay. And you're giving now to your own happiness. Okay, no longer, how do I say, you took the bullets out of the gun when you did this, then the enemy cannot attack you, they can't reach you, they can't get to you because you're not giving where you're not supposed to be at in the first place. Okay, I'm just saying, all right, I'm just keeping 100, Sagittarius, five of pentacles, okay, because something had your ass left out in the car, girl, okay, oh boy, okay, page of cups, something you were giving to, seven of swords, it was a choke. Ten Pentacles, you went within and you saw the truth about the contract. You saw the truth about the choke. You saw the truth about what someone was offering you. You saw the truth about what was in their cup. What was in this page of cups, cup, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, was Seven of Swords. A strategy, a plot, a plan to keep you stuck, kill, steal, destroy, and the evil twin. So there was four Okay, you saw them for what they were. <coughs> you saw them for what they were trying to do. Nine of Swords, the Empress. They were trying to keep you, whatever these four things were, people, places, or things, you included, could have been trying to keep you. That's that Gemini energy, Sagittarius, that other, uh, <laughs> I'm just saying Sagittarius. <laughs> You could have been sabotaging your own connections, your own adventures, your own self, listening to the views, thoughts, and opinions of others 
who are not a motherfucking factors. Sagittarius, Knight of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You started listening to yourself instead. You started giving to yourself instead. Knight of Cups. There you are, Knight of Wands, adventuring out on your own, Knight of Cups, giving to yourself or to what will actually give to you in return, Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups. That's the type of partnerships you're going after. Queen of Wands, here you are, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ace of Cups, with the Ace of Cups. There you are. You come into this alignment with the self. This is self-alignment. It's a deep knowing of what you have to do in order to be able to acquire what it is that you desire. Okay, so the first thing that you must have done was pull back your energy from people, places, and things that were not serving you. Stop listening to the lies you were telling yourself or that others may have told you. And then um, give and pour into your own cups, discerning what's in the cups coming in your direction in the contracts what's 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 the what's underneath high priestess what's underneath what's hidden okay but like i said someone's now listening to their intuition judgment the magician okay there's going to be a manifestation that's coming in sagittarius is someone who's a match king of wands this person has emotional this person is emotionally evolved. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is confident, secure, stable. King of Wands. This person has a lot of desires. This person is motivated. This person is going to inspire in you the same life that you inspire in others, Seven of Pentacles. This is going to happen quickly, that there's going to be some form of a shift or change. But deep down, you know already what this is, Eight of Pentacles. You know already, Ten of Cups, that your contract is on the way, Ace of Cups. Why? Because you became what you desired to attract. Deep knowing. A happy, happy new life is what awaits for you, Sagittarius. The love. Ten of Cups was your last point. The love. This is what you're getting to. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. This is the, 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 the meat of it. There's a King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. That's coming in to match your vibration, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords. That's the truth. That's the truth. Because you put in the work on yourself, you pulled the energy back away from what wasn't serving you or giving to you. you. You recognized the choke, which was meant to keep you stuck, stagnant, complacent, accepting things that don't that you're not that you shouldn't accept, settling. Queen of Swords came right back out. Okay. Now you're not. Now you're showing up strong. Now you're showing up confident. Now you're empowered. Now you wish a, how do they say, wish a bitch would. <laughs> now, Sagittarius, strongly, yes, confidently, okay? You've overcame or maintained the beast. You've, 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 you've tamed. You've tamed something or someone. I feel like you tamed yourself, Sagittarius. It be like that. I'm speaking to myself. This is my reading. Like my life on the on the line right here for y'all to see, basically. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed because how they say, uh, I love the woman I used to be because every step she took was reaching out to me, me being the woman that I've become. Death card, we transition, bringing the proper endings, closure, overcoming the obstacles. Seven of Cups, overcoming the illusions, Page of Wands, the immature energies try to come in and impose on you. Or you choosing these immature options, however, whichever. I thought I had somebody mature, I really did. And I don't I don't sleep around, so I thought I just had me one somebody, okay? But I don't, you know, God is still in control. He still sits high on the throne because justice and queen of cups, that love you will receive because you get, how they say you get back what you put out. 
Sagittarius. You've been putting out nourishment, investment, energy, time, love, healing, patience, temperance, energy, your energy, Sagittarius. You've been putting that out. Well, Spirit says it's, it's coming back. It's coming back. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Earlier I did a reading and I was trying to explain how the energies are going to show up for the Divine Masculines and the Divine Feminines. And this is the perfect one right here. That means that your astral bodies are in alignment as well as your physical bodies are in alignment. It means that it's the right time. Magician energy, judgment, magician. You've reached this the divinity of the spiritualness of a, of a divine soulmate connection. You've reached it. You've accessed it. Your access point, your third one, was love. Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Eight Pentacles. The contract of love is here because you are both aligned. You're aligned spiritually and you're aligned in this dimension. So that sabotaging... Low vibrational energy, it's been blocked out. Two of swords, five of swords, it's blocked out. It's no more. Only the truth can stand now. Only the purity, only the authenticity can shine through. King of Pentacles. Damn. And there's prosperity. So you're getting it. You're getting it all, Sagittarius. Look at that. Victory and success. You did it, Sag. This is great energy. There could be a Pisces involved, but you're moving away from this stuck, stagnant energy to an energy of love. Gemini. Temperance. It's over. The Three of Swords, the foolish behavior. Ten of Swords is over. You're moving to a new time. Yeah, this five of wands, that conflict right there, it's over with. Why? Because spirit says so. Here five of wands. There was there was conflict with your offers. There was conflict with this connection coming to surface, coming to pass. But it's like now. Spirit says you're ready. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, it's gonna be a tower for somebody. Okay, could be a Scorpio involved or a Capricorn. Okay, but you're you're ascending. That's over, whatever that was. You're ascending. You've taken back control of your life. The Emperor, Eight Wands, the Star. Someone desires to communicate with you. This person could have, um, I don't know. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see this Three of Cups. And my phone about to die, so I gotta go. I love you guys. I hope you got the message you needed. If you did, you guys, be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And have a good day. Sorry the screen went dark. Um, and the only way for me to plug this up is to get off the video. So you guys enjoy. Bye.